With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Question is evaluate. Limit 0 tends to pi by 2 cos square x upon cos square x plus 4 sin square x dx. So, given question, firstly I will let it is equals to i. i equals to 0 to pi by 2 cos square x upon cos square x plus 4 sin square x dx. Firstly, I will split the given function which is 0 to pi by 2. Numerator part I am not doing anything. In denominator part cos square x is as it is but in place of sin square x I can replace it by 1 minus cos square x by using the identity which is cos square x plus sin square x equals to 1 cos square x plus sin square x equals to 1. So, in place of sin square x, it can be written as 1 minus cos square x. So, I can write it when I will open the bracket and multiplying it by 4, it will be cos square x and in denominator part 4 minus 3 cos square x dx. Now, i equals to, I am multiplying the whole equation by 3 and dividing it by 3. So, it can be written as and also I am using minus sign means 0 to pi by 2. And here, I am multiplying and divide this equation minus 3 into minus 3. It means the equation will be converted into minus 1 upon 3. Here, minus 3 cos square x upon 4 minus 3 cos square x. If I have done this because I want to convert numerator and denominator exactly same term. Now, one more operation I am going to do. I will add 4 and subtract 4. In maths, it is compulsory. If you are adding something, so you have to subtract it. If you are multiplying by something, so you have to subtract it it is compulsory so i equals to minus 1 upon 3 limit 0 tends to pi by 2 and 4 minus 3 cos square x minus 4 upon 4 minus 3 cos square x dx now it is very easy to split it into two parts first part i get only one so i equals to minus 1 upon 3, 0 to pi by 2. This I am separating these with this. So, means 1 minus 4 upon 4 minus 3 cos square x dx. Now, it can be written as next operation I am going to do is in this part. Firstly, I am separating it. I equals to minus 1 upon 3 integration of 1 into dx and minus minus plus 1 upon 3 here limit also 0 to pi by 2 limit 0 to pi by 2 4 upon 4 minus 3 cos square x dx it means when we integrate this term then i get i equals to minus 1 upon 3 into x and limit 0 tends to pi by 2. Here I am doing one more operation 4 by 3 0 to pi by 2. I am multiplying and dividing this term with cos square x means here cos square x and here also cos square x. It means it can be converted here written as sec square x and uh, it can be written as 4 sec square x minus the I have to divide. When I will divide then it will be converted into sec. Dividing this whole term. So 4 upon cos square x is sec square x 
4 upon cos square x is 4 sec square x and cos square cos square will be cancelled out and dx. Now taking limit in this term, so this term will become i equals to minus 1 upon 3 upper limit i by 2 into pi by 2 lower limit is 0. So plus 4 upon 3 0 to pi by 2. Here sec square x and dx. In denominator part, I will replace this sec square x by the identity in place of sec square x. I can put 1 plus 10 square x. This is an identity. So, and minus 3. Now, it is very easy to integrate this. This term became minus pi upon 6 plus 4 upon 3 integration of 0 to pi by 2 sec square x dx in denominator well i will open the bracket 4 minus 3 it will be 1 means 4 10 square x plus 1 i get now as we know to solve this when i let 10x as a t and we know the differentiation of 10x is sec square x so sec square x dx equals to dt it means in, in place of dx i can put dt upon sec square x means this sec square x and this sec square x will be cancel out so i equals to and we have to change the limit also so minus pi by 6 plus 4 upon 3 limit will be changed and it is dt upon 4 in place of 10 means t 4 t square plus 1 now limit first limit is when x equals to 0 and second limit is when x equals to pi by 2 when x equals to 0 it means 10 is also 0 when pi by 2 we know its value is infinity it means limit has changes to 0 to infinity now we have to solve it further so i equals to minus pi upon 6 plus 4 upon 3 limit 0 tends to infinity dt upon i am dividing or taking common 4 from this so here 4 will be added and it is t square plus 1 upon 4 i am doing this to convert it in another identity so i equals to minus pi upon 6 4 and 4 will be cancelled out plus it will be 1 upon 3 and here limit 0 tends to infinity dt upon t square plus 1 upon 2 whole square. As we know this is the identity of 10 inverse 1 upon a 10 inverse x upon a. So further I can write it i equals to minus i upon 6 plus 1 upon a means 3 upon 1 upon 2 means 2 upon 3 into 10 inverse x upon a in place of x it is only t in place of a 1 upon 2 and limit 0 tends to infinity here i am writing the identity that i use 1 upon integration of 1 upon x square plus a square is 1 upon a 10 inverse x upon a so now further solving this so i equals to minus pi upon 6 plus 2 upon 3 and it is 10 inverse this 2 goes to upside 2t and limit 0 tends to infinity it means i equals to minus pi upon 6 plus 2 upon 3 now applying limit upper limit minus lower limit 10 inverse 2 into infinity means infinity minus 10 inverse 2 into 0 means 10 inverse 0. Now it can be written as i equals to minus pi upon 6 plus 2 upon 3. As we know 10 inverse infinity means pi by 2 90 degree minus 0. So i equals to minus pi by 6 plus 2 by 3 into pi by 2. 2 and 2 will be cancelled out pi by 3. While taking LCM and solving it, 
pi by 3 minus pi by 6 means pi by 6. So we can say that the solution of the given integral is pi by 6. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.